Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. I'm going to show you how to check your brake pads on a Lexus RX350. I actually checked the rear ones a little bit uh, today already because I was doing another video on replacing the shocks, the rear shocks, and you can look at that video. Um, but then I got to thinking, this car has about 55,000 miles on it. I don't think I've ever done brakes on it. So I didn't look at the front one, so I'm going to do this as a separate video and pull the pull one side, the wheels, left front, left rear, and uh, show you how to check the brake pads. So right there, this is the front of the car. There's a nice flat, heavy-duty spot there where I jacked it up, and that will lift the front up couple inches and it will also lift the back up by maybe three quarters of an inch just as much as what you need to um, get a wheel off and take a look at the brake pads so that's where I jacked it up just one side I don't side to side they generally wear about evenly so I don't really need to check both sides so for the front let me back up a little bit see this is the top of the caliper and there's like a little place well this is really the caliper bracket and this is the caliper this is the place in between the two where you can look pretty good and you can see the rusty looking thing that's the disc and that gives you each part of the disc here it is up here gives you a thickness let me get a ruler and lay it on there. So, here we go. The Each half of the rotor is about 5 sixteenths. So, now let's... I'm not going to be able to get the ruler in there, but I want to compare that 5 sixteenths to the pad material that's available. So I'm going to go now back to that oops, sorry, back to that spot that I was telling you about. So there, all right, so you got your rotor, you know, your two halves of the rotor, and that's 5 sixteenths, right? And that's what we measured. Come on, focus. Uh, the camera's giving me a little hard time on the focusing. Sorry. There we go. All right. So, 5 sixteenths. And that, to the left of your screen, that's the inner pad. That's at least 4 sixteenths or quarter inch compared to the 5 sixteenths next to it. And I'm looking at the inner... <clears throat> Excuse me, the outer one is a little less, but it's still more than a quarter inch. It has a taper on that. Do, disregard the taper. The taper doesn't have anything to do with the overall thickness. Look below that taper, and you'll see about 4 sixteenths, 7 30 seconds, maybe something like that. So we've got plenty of pad on the front rotor and that's what I'm describing to you is how to look at that and how to figure it out and know when your pads are thin. Now let's look at the back. So in the back it's just you know one you know the, the rotor is not as thick the back it's like one thickness of the rotor so and it's a little bit different so you have to look in in two different places so I'm outside of the caliper bracket and I'm looking down Look right next to the rotor. Let's see. I want to get this in a good focus for you. It's a little hard to see. There, that's a good place to see it. You look right next to the rotor. You 
and it's about a little less than four sixteenths. It's maybe six thirty seconds. Well, eight thirty seconds would be a quarter, or maybe seven thirty seconds or six thirty seconds. Still, it's pretty pretty good. I'm looking at it right there, I hope you can see it. It's th that right there. That's your pad material right there. That's your rotor, banging on the rotor. And that's your pad material right up next to the rotor. Just focus, little camera. You know, I guess that's about as good as it's going to get. But anyway, you know, you can see with your naked eye better than what I'm showing you on the camera. Okay, now let's look at the inside pad. Oh, sorry. I think I just uh, recorded a bunch of stuff with me moving around that you weren't supposed to see. But anyway, that's the way it is. Now, the inside rotor, or the inside pad, excuse me, is best seen if you look directly through this rear caliper. And there, the, the, the part that looks has a little rust on it, that's the rotor and the part to immediate to the right is the pad and then to the right of that is the backing plate for the pad so that's also got about a quarter inch so you've checked inner and outer pads front and rear I showed you all the places to go and uh, I hope that helps you out give me a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out and subscribe to my channel if you want more from froggy mostly automotive See you later. Bye-bye.